like Chris Pratt. <laughs> I don't know how, how much more obvious I can make it that I hate Chris Pratt. Like, I don't I just can't genuinely think of another way to describe how much I hate Chris Pratt. Anyway, um, enough about Chris Pratt. I'm going to play a game that I hope to God, if they ever make a North American version of Ace Attorney movie or whatever, that they don't cast Chris Pratt as to be uh, Phoenix. Like, seriously. Like, cast him to be Von Karma, so at least we know he'll get executed. You know? Like, that'd be hilarious. Having Manfred Von Karma executed, played by Chris Pratt, then, you know, it'd be great. Finally, we get we finally get a movie where we get to enjoy hating Chris Pratt. God, I fucking hate Chris Pratt. I hate Chris Pratt. For those of you watching on YouTube, um, this is released, this is... This is recorded on the same day as Chris Pratt in Super Mario Brothers. The trailer came out today, and uh, I'm not happy. So if you're watching me on YouTube, I'm so sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna play, we're gonna do something better than fucking Chris Pratt. Yeah, I'll catch, catch the bloody culprit in this case. I have been told that I'm going to enjoy everything about this game, so I'm excited. Ah, oh, crap, he's been killed. Well, it was inevitable. Yeah, you know, one of these days we're going to have a non-death Ace Attorney episode, right? Oh crap, we're going to have to defend a dog from the SPCA, aren't we? I think this is the first time we've actually shown something other than a murder scene. Oh wait, yeah, this will be the murder scene. What am I thinking in this game? Horace Knightley. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the gun safety issue anymore because he's dead now. Dead people can't spin their um, their handguns that way. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Is are we gonna have to defend somebody we have around here? Is Gumshoe gonna be accused of murder again? Is Gumshoe gonna be the Maya of this game again? And Robert, Robert Bishop, yep. Followed by Queen, Queen Latifah. And, um, and then King. Oh god, do I, um, Mackenzie King. Uh, none of you will get who, know who the fuck Mackenzie King is. <clears throat> I'm Jake, I'm Passant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love how this has, like, trophies and all that for... Why are there trophies in this jail? Jeannie, you should know who Mackenzie King is. It, it, honestly, if you don't know Mackenzie King and you're a Canadian who grew up in Canada, you somehow managed to escape high school. No, no, no non-Canadian will. Nobody knows what the King Bing affair is. Unless you live in Canada. Yeah, you live in Canada, so you would know what the King Bing affair is. That's why you should know who Mackenzie King is.
This is so weird. Yeah, just run through. This jail is fucking wild. Like, it's stone, but then you walk in here and it's all concrete. That's fair. French Canada does have some slight differences. Excuse me. Yeah, people never die inside of prisons, you know? You've never heard of another prisoner being shanked. Never happens. I would. He was being targeted by, um, what's his face? Um, Shelly the Killer. Like, seriously, how could you have not known that this would happen? Jesus. Also, this does not look like a jail cell. This looks like some sort of BDSM place. Yeah, nobody's ever been murdered inside of a prison, but by, by the hands of another prisoner. We're just gonna go and wander around. We're not gonna bring any police in other than the uh, um, the guard there. All right, let's find out what's on this table. Yeah, this is a okay, sweetie. You're just new to this sort of thing, but don't worry. This is where all the the adult fun happens. That's what we're gonna describe. We're gonna describe this place as the adult fun center. This is the adult fun center. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. We got a hose. Kay knows what her nose is smelling. I don't know. This is so weird. It's like, I like Kay. All right, let's look at this dead body. There's a chessboard here. I'm assuming it's chess. Maybe it's checkers. Yeah, she's just smelling iron. Yes, the one wearing the giant key is K. By the way, I put a tattoo request in. I'm planning to get the Yakuretsu um, symbol tattooed on probably on this hand here. Or not on my hand, but on my um, wrist. So I reached out to a tattoo artist um, just this past week. I guess we're going to be doing this already. For inmate use. Did you know that they um, <clears throat> painted the walls pink in some prisons in the sort of pseudo-scientific um, pursuit of calming down prisoners? So they would make them wear pink and have pink walls. I, I don't know if it actually does do anything and genuinely I don't buy it, but there was like a whole episode about this. I want to say I heard about this on 
podcast and what po- Oh, it was Sawbones. One of the McElroy shows. Pepto abysmal covered blood. Well, this game is not family friendly. We already have, like, we got dead bodies and everything like that. Like, this is practically PG 13 at this point. I, well, we can probably say PG because there's no swearing in this. Like, how? I'm curious, like, did he get, like, stabbed in the neck or something? Bruises? Yeah, probably. How long do bumps take to appear, especially when you're dead? Like, that's kind of what I'm wondering. Oh, is that... Uh, I have overlooked that, that whole thing. Edgeworth. I want to know more about this blanket. Oh, we, we already went through this, I think. Or maybe we haven't. Oh, we're going to find out he has no leg. Yeah, this sheet is bright red because there's blood on it. Alright, let's look at this a little bit further. I don't know, can we look at his finger? Oh, here we go. Kay immediately goes to robbing the dead. And she, it's like, hey, we're in a murder scene. We probably should take that. Okay, so we already went through all this here. Yeah, we already went through all this here. I think we already went through all this here, so... All right, let's go take a look at this uh, place in the BDSM camp. Like, that's obviously a collar. And you got a cage to the left. Like, come on. No, he was not an engineer. I don't think he was. Also, if you're an engineer, don't you wear that on your left and not on your right because your left hand's closer to your heart or whatever nonsense that is? Let's take a look at this hook here. Hmm. And pulley, I guess. Yeah, it's a hook and pulley. Okay, sweetie, please don't. This is making me uncomfortable.
from what I understand, um, um, the tradition is limited to what Scotland and Canada. Like, it's not an American tradition at all. My ex spouse, she actually wore a ring um, because she was a computer engineer. Um, and, like, engineers fight for that ring in this country. Like, it's just ridiculous. Not ridiculous, but, like, it's, it's something that is. It's pretty incredible, like, how. See, there you go. Escrant has the ring. I don't know what your ring is in, though. Considering the province you're in, I can take a couple of wild guesses, but I don't think I'm going to be correct. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Let me think. What's what's an S, an engineering role that starts with S? What's an engineering role that starts with S? Fuck. Okay, well, I tried. I really did try. So we got a rope here. It's like my name is not actually Kate, even though a lot of people will think it is. Look, there's a frickin' whip here. We know what this room is used for. We got a whip, we got a cage, we got a place to tie somebody up. Like, come on, this is an adult fun center. Oh yeah, Escort worked hard for his ring. I'm never going to discount it. So what do we have so far for evidence? We have, like... Not much there. I didn't mean to do that there. So we got the whip. I think we got the whip as well. I guess we can connect those eventually. Actually, I'm gonna connect it. We have enough time. Wow, so hard. If you just use some downy and some um, tide, you'll get the blood stains out. The fun part is you're not actually working as an engineer these days. Well, that's fair. The fun part is I dropped out of university. And then not even remotely working in my um, um, the field I was aiming to be working in, so... One day, maybe I'll pass the bar. So what is the murder weapon then? He got... There's like... Bumps on his head and like... Puncture wounds on his neck. Oh, he did see a dog earlier. Did he just get... Am I gonna have to defend a dog? We have uh, blood stains. Footprints, I don't think are that important. We don't have a murder weapon. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I had a carrot dangled in front of me, so I took it. And I do enjoy my career, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I wonder what my life would have been <clears throat> if I had actually bothered to, you know, go through with my, um... Like, go through with my whole um, teaching career that I was interested in. teaching history to high school students, which was what I originally wanted to do. Hence why I can easily cite um, the King Bing affair and, and probably not so well anymore talk about it, but, you know, give me a couple of uh, books and I'll be able to actually talk to you about it in depth because I'll be like, oh yeah, well this actually had this ramification, blah 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 blah. But not so much these days. <clears throat> what was the murder weapon? Well, I think somebody just had a little too much fun in the adult fun center. 
Nope. Please let it be a dominatrix. Please let it be a dominatrix. No. Oh, hey, it's one of the dudes from the cover. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Shields. Ray Shields. This dude looks like Seinfeld and Spike from Cowboy Bebop, like, became one. I don't know about you. Edgeworth is like, what, 30? He's 30, isn't he? Or 28? Like, Edgeworth is just... The Jabot is what does it to him. He wears a Jabot. Like, because he wears a Jabot, this is what happens. Stop wearing the Jabot. I got told in a chat yesterday that um, because I'm, I argued successfully to whoever in my chat ages and ages ago about the difference between the cravat and a jabot, and um, this person used that, that knowledge to go and tell a child where to go and how to get there in terms of telling the difference between the two. I'm so proud that I helped a, a grown adult figure out how to completely make a child insignificant. <laughs> Like, make a child feel so insignificant. That's what I'm here for, to make it so you can <laughs> defeat children. <laughs> Cannot let the children have any sort of supremacy over uh, another. Betrayal? Well, because of uh, Edgeworth fucking off to America for however long? I think in the English version they had him buzz off to Europe or whatever, and I don't know. Or they just say overseas because, you know, that's a good place to go. Just somewhere overseas. Oh my god, he looks like Spike from Cowboy Bebop. Ace Attorney Ray Shields. Ace Attorney Ray Shields. Fucked off to somewhere. Yeah, Antarctica. You know, this this takes place post-climate um, change, you know? The, apro the Apothracene, you know, made it possible for this to happen. Ray Shields. Ace Attorney Ray Shields. I'm looking forward to defeating this man. Yeah, you know what? I grew up in an age where there was lead in the uh, paint in the walls of my home. Kids these days, they don't have it. They they think they have it so hard. Listen, I grew up with paint chips coated in lead. And I turned out okay. Look at me now. He does look like Spike. Like, if he didn't have this, like... Five o'clock shadow. Hey, Uchi, no, you're the you're the reason why I'm talking about children. You're the reason why I mentioned it. Now I get to basically feel great that I helped you make a child feel insignificant. This isn't Europe, after all. Jeez. They, they aren't hiding the fact that Europe is... Well, I guess they, the, the translation they made this, Japanifornia. Oh, going... Everybody's going for the low blow, and twice now this man's done it. The Von Karma way. You're old. God. Somebody else talking about Edgeworth's dad. 
Like, come on, don't go for the below the belt shit here. Yeah, Gumshoe doesn't remember who Von Karma is, I betcha. He was his defense attorney. Okay. What was Spike's last name from Cowboy Bebop? I feel really silly not remembering it. Spiegel. That's right. Spiegel? Am I saying that right? I think I don't need to go back here. Maybe I just need to talk to Bozo. Alright, Spike. Congratulations, Captain Obvious. Yes, that is out of place. A dead body in the Adult Fun Center. His neon is also neon white and that makes me happy. Hey, there's nothing bad there. Calif that, okay, that. Okay, so I'm a, I am very familiar with sushi, and I've been a vegetarian for five years, and I still remember what a California roll looks like. That's not a fucking California roll, okay? In here, what I can see, and I'm gonna take a gander at this, is probably shrimp, avocado, maybe. <clears throat> I don't see the Japanese putting avocado in their um, sushi. And finally, in fact, this should be a Japanifornia roll, but whatever. I'm not going to split hairs here. And then what I can only assume is cucumber. And then you got some, I'm assuming that's roe. Clearly a hamburger. Yes, this is more precise. This is hamburger. How's it going, Tokyo? Um, all right. Could be lightly toasted sesame seeds. That is some very orangey sesame seeds. It doesn't even look, it looks like shrimp than crab. Like, I have eaten enough California rolls in my life to know that that's not a California roll. They should have just translated it as a Japanifornia roll, and then I would have been, oh, that's interesting. But no, they had to go and call it a California roll. Good to see you, Lizzie. Lizzie got me a really cool cookbook. You should check it out on my Twitter. It's all anime um, foods, and some of them are just, like, phenomenal. Like, anime that I hadn't thought about in years. Nightly Boy? Wow. What a way to talk about your dead client. Yeah, the cookbook is on my Twitter if you want to see a photo of it. I wonder if um, Ray Shields has a Maya.
Like, imagine him having, like, I don't know, Faye Valentine as his Maya. Okay, let's see here. Which of these three is the name of this room? The lecture room, the morgue, the entertainment room? Come on, it's the Adult Fun Center. It's the Adult Fun Center. I'm gonna go for the entertainment room because screw it, I don't care. It's the Adult Fun Center. Like, this is definitely a BDSM place. Though we call it the... The Entertainment Room might be just an alternate name. Fuck off. Of course, there's plenty of toys here, right? Imagine having Ayn as his Maya. It would make a lot of sense. How do they monitor this room? Hmm, good question. Uncle Ray. Okay, I want to know how old is this man? 36. Damn, 36. Cannot believe this. Electronic bracelets, okay. Don't they usually wear those things on their ankles? Did I miss the point where they talked about where they're placed? Oh, cool! So it's like, what's the name of that movie? Fortress. It's, it's like the movie Fortress. Hey, David. This is exactly like the movie Fortress, except they don't put the painful thing inside of your stomach. How are things? Things are well. I am playing a very interesting story involving an adult fun center. I hope you're doing well. This is... This is a weird story. I'm enjoying this, but I really hate this spy, uh, dollar store spike clone. to go and examine the body again, aren't I? Where is his bracelet? Where is his bracelet? Like, would he wear it on his ankle? But like, apparently it needs to be around his wrist? I don't know. This is strange. Like, there should be a bracelet here, right? Then there's the glove. We did that earlier. Um, I guess I gotta hit the deuce. The only thing I can think of is the door sensor.
That's my only... Apparently that's the right answer, so whatever. I'll roll with this. Okay, well, that's the end of me um, exploring the Adult Fun Center, I guess. Realize I had a Discord message go right into the wrong speakers. It's the perils of having a mixer, I guess, and having two computers on it. I don't trust you, Ray, because you look like you're a dollar store knockoff uh, Spike Spiegel. Oh, I'm pretty certain it's not the last we'll see at this place. We're going to be coming back to the Adult Fun Center. I'm pretty confident of it. Like, look at this place. How is it? It looks like it's out of the frickin' 19, 1800s. This is bananas. Oh my god, there's a petting zoo! There's a literal petting zoo. We got a little tiny pony, a bunny rabbit, um, some sort of monkey, a kitty cat, and a pot belly pig. This is, this is the, this is a prison. I would, no, I don't want to be in prison. Fuck prisons. Yeah, animals. Can I pet the pony? I want to pet the pony. Yeah, there's animals in here. We got... A bunny, a monkey, a kitty, a piggy, and a pony. They all end in Y. Oh my god. This is great. <laughs> oh my god, the Adult Fun Center is just getting better. This adult fun center is just getting better and better. I am such a fucking child. I apologize to anyone who has been mortified by my behavior on this stream with re reference to that particular room, but I can't help myself, okay? Like, this prison is antiquated to all hell. It doesn't even fit the expectations I have for Japanifornia. Like, why are there rocks, like, rock slabs like this? It makes no sense to me. I blame Edgeworth, it's not my fault. Yeah, this is how you get the uh, 5G vaccine, right?
Yeah, I wasn't expecting a dystopian petting zoo. I feel really bad because don't they imply like this is in a basement or something? Like, here's the floor plans, right? Yeah, there we go. There's the workroom. Yeah, this is such a strange situation. What's the sound? <gasps> pet the doggy! Oh my god, I want to pet- Oh, that dog looks so precious. Oh, and has a tiny little bell. Oh my god, I want to pet you. What's your name? What's your name? It's What's this dog? It is a dog with a bell on it. And it looks like he, it's a service dog. Oh my god, I want to pet the dog. Can I pet the dog? Can I pet the dog? Can I pet the dog? It's a bell, Edgeworth. Puppy. He seems upset. Yeah, Edgeworth... See, the thing is, is, Edgeworth doesn't really have a way with children. He also doesn't have a way with dogs. Because Edgeworth and dogs don't get on well. Wait, that's not actually correct. If you've watched the Ace Attorney anime, um, Edgeworth has a dog that he almost gets rid of because of Von Karma. Then again, Von Karma almost like got rid of Edgeworth as a protege. Like he had signed all the paperwork but hadn't submitted it. And then like decided to keep Edgeworth as his adopted son. It was really screwed up. But the whole time, like, um, Edgeworth kept his dog that he got um, with permission from his father or something like that. I can't remember the whole story anymore. It was like in the second season. I have to wonder about the... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out here because like I'm looking at the inmates in here and I'm trying to wonder if, like, maybe they're a cameo from, like, previous Ace Attorney games, but the sprite work is not good enough for me to lean in any particular direction. Like, the inmate on the left makes me think of, um, the, um, Luchidori-type character that they had in, um, Ace Attorney 5, but this game takes place before Ace Attorney 5, um, so it's a little bit weird. Also, the inmate on the right's wearing a hat. <clears throat> oh, do we get to make out what he looks like? Very shadowy. His name is now Stripes to me. Is he dead? Maybe he's a mummy. What? Oh, tiny bear! Tiny bear, tiny bear, tiny bear! Oh, oh, tiny bear! Anyway. Yeah, but he has a tiny bear. I really want the tiny bear. I want to see more of the tiny bear. This man's definitely had his head split open. It's a tiny little polar boxer. 
Oh, oh gotta get those gains. Look at that polar bear to sweat, and it has this little tiny tongue out like a little, little blap. This is so good. I'm enjoying this game a lot just for the silliness. Like, this is so silly. I really love this. Jailbird, huh? Rocky! The name is Rocky! Sorry. Oh, Rocky the Polar Bear. What a sweet name for a polar bear. Oh, tiny. Look at it. Hang on. I knew somebody named Rocky. Um... I used to work with him. He was okay. As far as I know, he never murdered anybody. Now, that said, I do know somebody who murdered somebody. <laughs> I went to school with somebody who committed a murder. And, um... Alongside his brother. And his brother was actually killed in prison. I like animals, okay? I really do like animals. All right, we're going to time to play with this weird game mechanic that I'm still trying to understand here. Look at me. God. We're going to be going for this. We're going to be going for boxer puns, aren't we? It's all going to be boxing jokes, everybody. Well, that's my only option. Yeah, I probably wait and see on this one here. Time to give it to you straight. Mr. Saw it. Oh my god. I can make a quick save here. Uh, no, I don't think I... Can I save in this spot? Probably not. We'll see how this goes. I feel like... Using the white pawn piece is a bad idea still. I think I'm slowly understanding this weird mechanic. Hi, Brad. You can have pizza if you want. You have to share it, though. Well, let's try this out here. I had pizza for supper tonight. Aww. Well, I hope you enjoy your sushi. Oh boy, he's... Whoa, oh my god, we're about to get a Goku moment here. Taking off those weights. That's definitely a Goku moment. I, I'm just gonna pick the first one. I don't think I have it. I don't think it matters. I don't know. Wait and see. I feel like 
I feel like being aggressive in these conversations is a bad idea. Did Edgeworth introduce himself to this man? I don't remember that happening. Slight? Oh, that makes sense. You should play this game. This game is so far, like, really interesting. Um, I find this mechanic extreme, like, extremely strange. I bought this game on a whim, uh, not on a whim, but like I bought this game back in June, so I'm really glad that um, I'm finally getting to play it. It's the only physical Ace Attorney game I own. Everything else is like DLC, or not DLC. Oh wait, I already selected this. Thank you for admonishing me there, Ed Edgeworth. Thank you, Edgy Poo. Really appreciate you. Um, oh, I finally made a mistake in this thing. see if I can force him to answer the question. Because that was given to me earlier, so maybe that's the option. Alright, I guess we get to use this. I know when the red text comes up, that's when you definitely have to use it. Again. <laughs> That's that was easy. That was that was I made one mistake in this. That was the first mistake I've made in this weird logic chess thing. It's such a strange game mechanic that I swear to God, I'm never fully grasping, but I feel like it's just a battle of wits. Oh, checkmate. Checkmate, liberals. I'm just watching the squirrel outside on the tree, just having a time. All of a sudden I see this thing jumping up outside of my window and it's like this squirrel. Are you going to invoke like he's your client now or some crap like that? Oh, Ray's gonna, like, observe and steal. That person? Who's that person? Is it Edgeworth's boyfriend?
Oh god, that has to be Phoenix. This is a reference to Phoenix, isn't it? Please let it be a reference to Phoenix. It has to be a reference to Phoenix, right? It has to be a Phoenix Wright reference. No comment? Fair enough. No, I don't want anyone to spoil this for me anyway. Like, this game I'm completely blind on. Like, I have never seen anyone play this game, so... No, he's unlikely to report. Well, he's a defense attorney, right? He calls himself Ace Attorney Ray Shields. The supplier? It's your secret shop. Now it's not a secret anymore, buddy. Why would you tell a law enforcement official about a contraband delivery service in a prison? Like, seriously, why would you... Ugh, probably... Conjugal visits for Uncle Ray. Great. Uncle Ray is living up to being creepy. What a surprise. I hate the fact that he's calling himself Uncle Ray. No, you think they would have learned something by now. Maybe he's next to get shanked, who knows. Hold it. This music is so good. Mr. Bear. I want to pet Rocky. Like, I just want to give him all the cuddles. I'm pretty certain it'll be the last cuddles I ever give, but, you know, he's a cute little polar bear who needs all the cuddles. I feel bad for the bear. Arg, I've been stabbed. Yeah, I say that all the time. You've never heard the scream of a cornered man before? Well... It's worth the bottom, so he would be the one making the screen. Oh dear. Yes, Genie. What is it? Alright, 
I think I pressed on this before, didn't I? No, this is still new. Was there five statements? So in some countries, breaking out of prison is not a crime. I think Germany and Mexico are two examples. Um, like, you'll be thrown back in jail, but you're, um... <laughs> that's where... Yeah, well, I know. We The affairs of the bedroom have no... Play, um, are of no business to the state, yes. But, going back to what I was saying, um, if, I believe in Mexico and Germany are two examples of where, countries where you can escape prison. You'll be captured if you're found, but you won't have to serve any longer than what's remaining on your prison term. So, like, say you're out of jail for three days, then you're thrown back in jail plus three days. I guess if you're out of jail for ten years, you're in back in jail for whatever is left of your stay. Like, I don't know. If you're staying in jail for three years and you've managed to escape for three... Like... Sorry, if you like escape jail like one year and you and you stayed out of jail for ten years, and you got captured again, I think you would spend another two years in prison or something like that. It's sort of like no interest debt. Whereas I know in like um, the United States, for example, it is a crime to escape from prison. One year sentence, break out, get an additional 10 years, welcome to America. Yeah, that's real freedom right there. Real freedom is that sort of freedom. How was the man stabbed, by the way? He was died, he was killed instantly. I'm sorry that I'm sorry we found a fault in your uh, statement there, buddy. What about the next? Well, that, that was a sudden jarring into the music. This is really weird, but what a shocker, the prisoners have inconsistent statements and they're talking to the police. I need a sec here to make a quick save. I don't like, I'm uncertain about my choices here, so give me a sec and I'm going to go back and then let's see. Let's go with there is a problem as the first choice. There's always a problem, right?
I don't think either of these prisoners are involved. Yeah, that's pretty much it. He's not on the um, clock, so he's like, whatever. These uh, these clowns can sink their own ship. Do you know what I just found that's really funny? They have plaques in front of them. Does that mean that people can treat this place like a zoo? What? Who are you? And why do you have cool hair? with her outfit. Who are you? Well, she's clearly a judge because she has a gavel. You're about to receive... You are to receive the blessings of the goddess of law. The Disciplinary Room, is that the name for the Adult Fun Center? It is the Adult Fun Center. Oh my god, it's, it's the... this is weird. Justine Courtney. Just Court. There's a pun right there. Just Court. Emissary of the Strength of the Law. Well, this woman is interesting. I appreciate that she seems to ordain herself. Prosecutorial Investigation Committee, the pick. Do not use the name so lightly. Well, I'm sorry, Goddess of Law. This game definitely uses Christian imagery as a warning. I will agree with you on this. Just think about how Christian evangelicals are uh, all about the law, except when it um, applies to white people who are also evangelical Christians. Uncle Ray is definitely creepy. Deep ties with the Bar Association. This is the first time I believe in any Ace Attorney game that the Bar Association has been mentioned. Although, I think at the end of Ace Attorney 4 it might have been hinted at. So why didn't you find Von Karma earlier? Von Karma was fucking about for 20 years and he just all of a sudden go like, Oh, maybe we should do so. Oh, this is how the Dark Age of the Law happened. 
This is the beginning of the Dark Age of the Law. This isn't... This, this is how the Dark Age of the Law happened. Did you all know it's the Dark Age of the Law? It's the Dark Age of the Law, everybody. Thank you, Gumshoe, for calling it the Whatchamacallit Committee, because in my head, that's how relevant they are. Oh, who's this? Who's this fucking clown? Oh my god, you have a face that I want to punch. Wow, I just want to punch this man in the face. That's impressive. I normally don't see characters in games show up and be like, yeah, I want to punch that person in the face, but he just shows up and I'm like, wow, you have a, such a punchable face. I'm certain that you are never going to grow on me. Sebastian the best. Wow, making your case even harder for me to not punch you in the face. She has anime jerks yet. Yeah. You know what this dude reminds me of? Oh, who was that character from um Oh my god, I'm going to this is going to bug me. There's an anime that I swear to god, same demeanor with this with this guy. I've never heard of it. Yeah, I don't know. Neither have I. Oh cool. His reputation does not pr um, precede him. He has a bloody question mark on his feckin' head. I do not like this man. Anybody who wanders around holding a conductor stick, whatever the hell you call them, um, is probably gonna be a bad person, right? She does have nice hair, though. The best rookie prosecutor in the office. He doesn't use words well either, and well, no, he's the best, not the best. What fucking mess? Are you gonna go clean up the bloodstains? That's not how you treat a crime scene, buddy. Baton, thank you. This man acts like he's probably a top, and in reality, he's a bottom. Do you take an oath, like, when you go to, when you enter court, do you solemnly swear under the eyes of the goddess of law that you will tell the truth and only, tr uh, uh, hold on a second, like, you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth and only, uh, the truth, so help you, goddess of law? Good lord. He probably goes up and be like, whack, whack, whack. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Meanwhile, you know, somebody over there with a billy club is just like, I'm just going to let this happen. I hate this guy. Sebastian, I'm going to... God. Oh, look. Whoa. Is that the first time we've seen a judge's gavel in this game? Yeah, this this seems really above board. No, it wasn't. I'm sorry, so we were supposed to let a murder happen because of you. Oh my god, it turns into a croquet mallet? Objection. Oh, she's gonna be a real piece of work, isn't she? She's gonna be a real piece of work.
Oh, she's going to be an interesting piece of work. Holy crap. I like to see her go up against Francisca. Get up, she has. I like how Gumshoe is going to bat for us. It's probably going to result in another salary cut. That's okay, we got K. That day? It's gonna be like in two hours. What an antiquated prison. Okay, I guess, uh... Oh, we're taking a B T B D or T B C. Okay, right, um, I'm gonna take a quick little break. Um, get some water, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you all should do the same thing. I'm gonna be about maybe about five ten minutes, and um, yeah, I don't really have much else to add, so I'll be right back. 